Since Russia invaded Ukraine one month ago, people around the world have been seeking innovative ways to support the Ukrainian people as they face the horrors of war. PBS Wisconsin, Marissa Wojcik, reports on how one artisan's fundraising effort has garnered much more traction than she thought possible. I was, I remember I was sitting and watching the news and I was so mad and I was hurt and I was upset and I was, I was feeling helpless. Christiana gorchinsky Trapani wanted to take action as she saw images of Russian forces brutally attack Ukraine and its people. And I was talking to my family and I was like, I need to do something with this anger. As a second generation Ukrainian, her mission was personal, to raise money for Ukrainians on the front lines. And I knew I wanted to do something to help. And so I figured, well, I know how to make candles. We have a candle company. Let's, let's use this. Owner of a small artisan shop in northeast Wisconsin called Door County Candle Company, she began making candles with blue and yellow wax, the colors of the Ukrainian flag. I wrote a post on Facebook, and I was like, I, mean, I just did a little preview that I'm going to be launching a fundraiser tomorrow. Stay tuned. Woke up, and we're like, oh, my God, 1,000. OK, 2,000. OK, three. In a matter of two weeks, the orders reached 20,000. That's like what we typically would sell in a year. 20,000 candles to be made in this small shop by hand. I think I cry every day just hearing like the stories and I could cry now. It just, it means, it means so much. And it means that so many people want to help and so many people were feeling helpless and just didn't know how to help. Moved by the news and Christiana's energy, Volunteers in the community have turned out in support, including Christiana's father. I have to be here. I have to help. When he's not doing 12-hour shifts as an ER physician, he's doing 12-hour shifts helping his daughter. I'm first-generation Ukrainian. My parents immigrated from Ukraine uh, right after World War II. And uh, I was raised Ukrainian. In fact, I spoke Ukrainian until first grade. He and Christiana's mother passed the language onto their children. It was my first language. I learned Ukrainian before I learned English. And um, that's how I talked to my grandparents, only in Ukrainian. It's kept me really close to my culture and my heritage. When she heard the news of the Russian invasion, Christiana's maternal grandmother flashed back to life in Ukraine during World War II. We were sitting with her, and she just started to cry and shake and just relive war when she was a kid. And... I never thought that something like that could happen in 2022. It's just heartbreaking. It's, it's an absolute catastrophe what's going on. It's, it's World War II all over again. That's what it is. And in fact, uh, my, my wife's mom has memories of, of you know, uh, things that happened during the war and, and as a child when she was there. And it's, it's just brought tears to her eyes. She's just she's in total disbelief. She's at home right now here, and she's stickering bags and doing things. She's 82 years old, and she's helping out as well. So it's all hands on deck. All of the profits made from selling the Ukraine candle are being donated to a Ukrainian nonprofit. It's called Razum for Ukraine. So it's helping provide like bandages and tourniquets and medical supplies to those that are in Ukraine and, and need it most. And so our first donation went for $125,000. A lot of tears were flowing after that. It was just incredible. That's the first of many donation installments that we're, that we're going to make. I really thought we'd only sell like 100. I really didn't think we'd sell more. We still laugh when Christiana said, you know, if I could sell 300 candles, I'd be so happy. Well, you know, that, that ship has sailed. <laughs> we're so proud of her. It's, I, we never expected this kind of a response, never. The outpour of support eclipses any expectations Christiana could have imagined. A lot of good comes out of evil in many ways. Slava Ukraini, Heroyam Slava. Glory to Ukraine, glory to its heroes. I'm just saying we're standing with Ukraine and providing light in the darkness. Slava Ukraini. For the PBS NewsHour, I'm Marissa Wojcik in Door County, Wisconsin. So heartening to see this.